August 20, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 543 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Moscow is flooding, we'll keep busy rescue services in our thoughts. Ukraine has advanced some amount literally on every front in the last 48 hours. Russian 2, 22 hypersonic bombers in Novorod, just a few miles southeast of St. Petersburg, were found smoking on the tarmac. The moon has proved Kremlin claims of space superiority have always relied on Ukrainian engineering. Or that nothing in the universe wants a Kremlin tool around, both could be true at the same time. Kremlin airstrikes increased significantly in the last 24 hours from roughly 30 per day, to over 60. Kremlin remote piloted drone use is being reported as effective and growing in mission use. This report will include a repeat of much of what was reported on the 19th. New information will be included up front in each section to save your time. Nipa line. Kremlin piloted drones have specifically targeted and murdered a civilian resident of Kherson. 442 shells of all sizes were fired onto Kherson's right bank in the last day. Ukraine has released the following map showing ground on the left bank islands currently held by Ukraine. Rumors were that Ukraine had started to move armor to these shores, suggesting it is possible they will be expanding this territory soon. However, even if they do not have tanks here, the terrain is favorable, as shown here. You can see that the west side of the river, the right bank, is roughly 150 feet higher than the main highway on the left bank in this area. Zaporizhia Front. The Kremlin made ground attack near the Morky Yoli. Ukraine is reporting that the secured areas around Robotyne have grown again. If we look at the topography we can get a better idea of some of the struggles and goals each side faces in the combat. Ukraine approaches from a lower ground almost entirely across this front, making distances difficult to transit, making their view range of enemy movements reduce, and placing enemy guns in a position to outreach their own. Shelling was notably heavy around the Morky Yoli. East Front, Donetsk. Two drones are reported as having crashed near Kremlin armed forces in Rostov Arblast, Russia, just over the eastern border of Ukraine. Heavy Kremlin action on this front. Marienka, Krasnoharivka, and Avdiivka saw repulsed Kremlin ordered attacks. Invaders also launched an attack south of Karamik at the canal at Novo Kalinov. More attacks were launched at Pivnikny which is bordering what we call Bakhmut area. Kremlin glide bombing and missile strikes were notable. Bakhmut area. Kremlin troops made an attack west of Bakhmut proper and at Andiivka. Attacks by the Kremlin at Pivnikny and Kurdyamivka appear to be aiming to capture the rail lines around the T-05-16 highway. Ukraine reports having pushed the contested zone eastward around Andiivka village. Oskil border front. Kremlin mouthpieces claim multiple attacks between Svartov and Kupiansk. The addition of the Azov Brigade to the National Forest east of Lyman appears to have proved liberated lands in the last day. In the north around Kupiansk Ukraine reports that they have taken the fight to the Kremlin troops. Kremlin troops attacks in Kivka for the third day in a row. It may be inch by inch, but Ukraine still stands yet. Northern border. Parts of Moscow are currently flooding, will keep their first responding air defense in our thoughts. A Russian military airbase in Novorod lost a strategic bomber to what is claimed to be a Ukrainian drone. A civilian technology demonstration of drones in Chernihiv was hit by Kremlin missiles, with over 150 civilian casualties reported. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming this was a NATO function, and dozens of mercenaries were killed, which if we consider the conditions, makes zero sense. The rail station in Kursk was claimed to have been set on fire by a drone, which Kremlin forces claimed to have shot down. Kremlin media says the fire was extinguished, but has reported five wounded as a result of the event. The Kremlin claims another two Ukrainian drones were shot down in Moscow suburbs. Black Sea. Ukrainian Navy is reporting that they destroyed three quote subversive unquote Russian boats. Perhaps the lunar surface is included in Ukrainian naval responsibilities. The Kremlin has five combat ships on patrol, none of them are missile carriers. Ukraine world related. A tour of the Viking lands has proven fruitful for the diplomacy of Zelensky and his wife. An agreement with Sweden for Ukrainian pilots to run tests on Gripens was created. The Netherlands and Norway have agreed to send at least 46 F-16 immediately upon Ukrainian Air Force readiness. Ireland has expanded the training they will provide to Ukrainian soldiers, to include rifle training. Previously Ireland agreed to train Ukraine on strictly non-lethal roles. The world's longest recorded sniper kill was completed by a Canadian soldier, mentioned only because Canada is now training Ukrainians. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.